Happy Friday! How is everybody doing today? So, <clears throat> today was my hair. You may have heard. My hair was the excuse my mind was conjuring up for not showing up. <laughs> I could do it later. It's not the right time. Maybe I can wash my hair. I'll do it tomorrow or... Truth is, there's always a good excuse, isn't there? Our mind is brilliant, coming up with magnificent <clears throat> excuses to not show up, not share our magic, stay right where we are, playing safe, avoiding possible rejection, avoiding possible comments that we don't want to hear, whatever it is, right? Truth is, you got to ask yourself, which is what I did, right? Are you committed? How committed are you to showing up for your people, to sharing your message, to letting them know you understand them, you can help them, you can guide them through this rough situation they're in that's holding them back because you've done it. You know the pain. You've turned it into your passion and your purpose. You've gone through it, and now you can help them. So, is your hair going to hold you back from it? And I looked myself in the mirror and said, hell no. So what did I do? I tied it up in the most ridiculous way possible. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked up a little and went exactly to where my hair didn't want me to go. Press that button. Not one time, probably like seven times in seven different places. Because that's who we are. Bold, freaking strong, fierce leaders. Guiding our people through situations that we have gone through, that we understand. Tough as heck situations that we've been through. Big challenges, but you've come out of them. You know how strong you are, you know how fierce you are, and you know how committed you are for your people. Because that's the thing. And yesterday when I was working with a client, prepping, no, prepping, for a summit, it was exactly the same situation. I asked, who are you speaking to? And she said, there's gonna be all sorts of people and they're in all these different situations and I get confused when I, get, when I try to figure out who I'm speaking to. Well, that's the thing. Who are you speaking to? No, you're not speaking to all those people. It doesn't really matter what all those people think. You're speaking to your people. You're speaking to the ones that can hear you. You're speaking to the ones that are connecting with you. That particular person is the person that you're visualizing when you're pushing that go live button. So you're not thinking about your hair or that judgmental friend that you have or that harsh teacher along your path. No, you're not thinking of those people. Those are not the people we're speaking to. You're speaking to the ones that can hear you, that are ready to hear you, that are in the tough situation and love the inspiration that you're sharing, that story you're sharing, that anecdote you're sharing, is planting a seed for them of hope that they have not been able to tap into on their own. So that's who you're speaking to, and that's your focus. And if you could put that picture right next to the camera there at the top <clears throat> and see them and speak to them and think of them, you'll see how the hair and all those other brilliant excuses that your mind is conjuring up to keep you right where you are automatically dissolve because your commitment to them, your passion, 
your mission, your purpose, that's what's guiding this. And when you're lit up, connected to your people, you're freaking unstoppable. That's who you are. Namaste.